for the exciting new features with Cisco Guzman. All right. So let's say I'm a designer and I work at a company called AR and we are a running shoe company. Specifically, I work in design ops, which means that it's my job to make sure product teams have the building blocks that they need in order to design our mobile and web apps. So I've created a design system inside of XD, which we've called Movement, and I've laid it all out as a UI kit or a sticker sheet. All of the colors, character styles, and components that my teams will need, our digital design language, it's all here. In addition to laying it out contextually on the canvas, I've also curated everything into the assets panel, colors, character styles, and components, making sure that everything is at my fingertips for reuse. So as you can see, there are a lot of components. Let's take a closer look at why that actually is. This single button has many different versions or states that it needs to take for different use cases. So it's a blue action button with a solid fill as a background, but when a user hovers over it, it should appear to have a lighter blue background. Now, there are nearly 20 other states that the button can actually also have. Multiply this by the number of components in the design system, and you can quickly see how the level of complexity grows, and I have to manage it. Not to mention that all of my product designers that are using this UI kit also need to deal with the complexity. Luckily, in XD, I now have the ability to create truly interactive components complete with space. On this artboard, I have a start button, which I'd like to create a hover state for. I right-click on, on the element to turn it into a component. And as you can see, the, the section of the property inspector called component has given it a new default state, which is essentially the resting state for my component. Now, I click on the plus button, and there it is, hover. I click on hover state, and I make the change to the canvas that I want to see appear when the user hovers. So let's make this a lighter blue. Okay, so this is what my user will see in the hover state. I reset it back to its default state. I open the preview window, and voila, there it is, a fully interactive state. I didn't have to wire anything. I didn't have to create any special commands. It just works right out of the box. In addition to that, thanks to multiple interactions, I can also now take that same button, which has an interactive state, and wire it to another artboard. So I'm going to add a tap transition, auto animate, and you get the transition as well. Okay, so states radically simplifies the way that I can work. These five artboards containing over a hundred different component states, thanks to this new feature, have now been collapsed into one tiny artboard. I can click through all of the different states. They're all embedded within the prototype, ready to use. All right, so my product team can now focus on building great experiences, not on looking for the right thing. Now, let's link it to an active file that we're actually working on. This is a layout for a redesign. And what I can do is open up the asset panel, click on Link Assets, and right away access all of the colors, character styles, and components that we defined in the design system. No designer is an island. And as you can see, I've actually invited someone, my colleague, Jonathan, to jump into the design with me to bang it into shape. So while he's going crazy, I'm going to go ahead and move some elements as well. And what live co-editing inside of Cloud Documents enables us to do as designers is to riff on one another's work, to speed everything up, to make sure that we're all on the same page and coming along down the same journey. All right, so nothing really ever stays the same. And as you can see, Jonathan is actually working with some of the components that we defined earlier. But for some reason, something has actually changed in our design system, and we've decided that it's time to turn that standard blue that we use to more of a red. So thanks to linked assets between uh, Cloud Documents and XD, I can make the change inside of the design system and when I go back into the document that I've been working in, you'll see that I've actually gotten an update notification. 
letting me know that a change is available. If I hover over the preview, over the preview badge, um, you can see that change uh, happening in real time on the canvas. So go ahead and hit update. Unfortunately, it looks like Jonathan, in his um, whirlwind of creativity, has accidentally deleted the runner image that I needed. But thanks to document history, I can actually access all of the different versions or milestones that I've created for my document, meaning that I can actually sync it up with my development process, and it's easier to share without that scare. Everything that I've needed, the entire journey that I've taken with this document is here. Now, not all the designers that I work with are product or UX designers, and the enhanced experience of CC libraries allows me to work across my organization and to leverage my entire creative system. So here's an image that I've gotten from a photographer that I've been working on. Send that to the back. And now, if I need to make a change to that image, or if the photographer that I'm working with actually wants to change the image, by changing the hue and the saturation. Once they make that change, it updates immediately in CC libraries and then cascades into XD, allowing me to work alongside of all of the product, UX, visual, and different kinds of designers that there are in my organization. Now, I've always been able to share fully interactive web prototypes with my stakeholders in XD. But with the new share mode, I'm actually able to preview the entire flow that I'll be sharing, making it easier to know exactly what it is that I'm going to be sharing. In addition to that, there are now easier to use presets that just create all of the different, um, that create all the settings for me so that I don't have to do them all uh, by hand individually. All right, so XD makes it possible for me to create true interactive state it allows me to design with other designers in my organization through co-editing. I have document history as the best insurance policy in the world. And now I also have share mode to help me create with more control the prototype that I want others um, to have access to. So now me and my team are able to design at the speed of thought together. <clears throat> 